How to cook rat bird. First you need to cut sibuyas. This purple sibuyas could enhance the aroma and the taste of our dish. Sibuyas in English is called onions. Second is we need to pound the garlic. After pounding it, you need to cut it into thin bits. And then, set aside. Next is we need to cut the tomatoes. This could really enhance the taste and the color of our dish. Next is you need to arrange it in a plate so that the table will be clean. Next is we need to cut the ragwood. After cutting the ragwood, we need to peel it one by one. Next is to cut all the ragwoods into a small circle slices. We are done slicing all the ingredients so we need to prepare ourselves for the cooking session. In here, we need to light up our small portable butane stove. In here, we need to put our pan and then adjust the light if it's needed, or let's just say the fire. And then, put some oil and let the pan to be heated. Next is we need to put the onion, garlic, and then saute it. And after that, of course, we need to adjust the light a little bit, and then put the tomatoes. We need to saute it more so that we can get the right taste and the right color, and after that, put some corn pepper so that it could enhance the aroma and the taste of our dish. After that, put the ragwood. After putting the ragwood, of course, we need to mix it and then put some water. Of course, we use the mineral water, not the Wilkins, you know. Because it's too expensive if we use the Wilkins, I just use the bottle. We need to cover the ragwood and then leave it for a minute and then look at it again and then mix it. And then cover it again. And I will leave it for another minute. After leaving the ragwood for minutes, it is already boiling. And then we put some salt. And of course, we need to throw some north cubes. Specifically, a beef flavor north cubes. It could really enhance our dish. Aside from simply tasting a ragwood flavor, there is also a twist of beef flavor if you put the north cubes there. We really need to mix it well and then add some water to adjust the flavor of our dish. And then put some salt again to get the right flavor. We really need to leave it for another minute and add some miso and mix it well to complete our dish. Let the miso boil and then turn off the fire of our stove and then Serve the miso in a bowl. So this is the finished product, a ragwort soup with miso. So what are you waiting? Make your own ragwort dish now. Please don't forget to click subscribe.